Today we're going to wreck or renovate our rig. Something's going to happen and it's going to be major, so stay tuned. Welcome to the channel. I'm Liz. And I'm Paul. And these are exciting times to push past fear, build confidence, and live amazing. And we are pushing past fear right now because we're either going to wreck our rig or we're going to have a really good renovation. And we're a yeah, little, we're going to, we're actually filming it as we're doing it. You know, we, we are just not quite sure what it's going to be. So as regular viewers will know, um, Liz has just gotten over a severe back concern. Um, she had to have surgery to correct a, a bulging disc. Yeah, and I did some things wrong. And the number one thing was sitting in a desk chair that was just a regular chair, just a cheapy old RV chair. So the major renovation, we had choices. We were either going to take out the dining table and turn it into a desk area or take out the couch. And right now we're leaning towards taking out the couch and making it a desk area. Yeah, both have, both certainly have downsides. I mean, if we lose the dining room table, then we no longer have a place to play cards with with friends or or have dinner together um, at a at a dining table right uh, you know and just having that area that's just for meals instead of you know only work um, and then if we lose the couch we're getting rid of a bed which we've never used but also a place to just hang out so if you don't know we have a 310 GK it's a grand design fifth wheel solitude you know, this is our space, so we have to make it work for us. I'm usually, you know, sitting 30 to 40 hours a week. I'm answering comments and mainly, you know, editing videos and creating videos. And I needed more than just a regular cheapy old RV chair. I needed a really good ergonomic chair. So that was step one. We got that. Um, and then step two is, you know, the desk, which we think we're going to rip out the couch for. So let's, yeah, yeah. let's show you what we're thinking about. It's nice to just lay on a couch. So we're going to yeah. be giving that up. Now, we've never used this. We feel very comfortable. We've had our rig for a year and a half, more than that. We've never had a guest, you know, stay the night. But we just aren't in that situation where we're going to need it. Someone who wants to visit us can stay in a nearby hotel. We had this for six months before realizing that we had this storage. So I have named this the dead body storage. Yeah, we don't want to give you guys any ideas. But, but uh, you know, really, you could... If you're trying to dispose of a body, this is a spot for it, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> The desk is going to stop right here and then we'll have room for a side chair here. So if another couple comes over, someone can sit in the desk chair and someone can sit in the side chair. You know, we can visit, we'll be sitting in our recliners. Which are full of stuff Which are full right of stuff now because we're, we're wrecking the rig. So the, the table that we're getting is a sit-stand table that raises and lowers and um, it comes down onto two pedestals. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to screw it to the floor to keep it from falling over when we're traveling. I mean, it certainly would be fine just sitting here if we're not moving. But when we're traveling, um, I have a feeling it's going to want to tip. Yeah, and, and I'm not wanting to you to screw it into the floor because I want to have flexibility and <laughs> look at your face. You're like, <laughs> slight disagreement here. <laughs> I'm not going to win this one, I can tell. You're not. Spoiler alert, instead of screwing it to the floor, all we did was bungee the chair to the desk and cover it and it was fine. So I was wrong again. <laughs> So one thing that we should talk about is that we are aware that, you know, when it comes to resale, you know, mm -hmm. we're getting rid of a couch. But we also know that these couches are not that expensive. They're not hard to find. So we go to sell it. We just take the desk out, right? And, yeah, if you somebody know, wants a couch, they can put, or chairs or whatever they want they back here. They can put their they, own sleeper can, sofa, which is probably going to be better quality than coming from an RV place. Right, yeah. So it's not like we're doing permanent damage to the RV. And there right. are plenty of people that have put desks in the RV. Yeah. The RV furniture is junked begin with the recliners I'm not real happy with and, and as far as comfort if you're used to a lazy boy or something that's super super nice it's, which is what I'm used to I had a lazy boy in my sticks and bricks house and and uh, I would regularly fall asleep in that thing it was so comfortable so you can hear the helicopters there's a helicopter keeps searching for Paul about every five minutes this has been going on last night this morning yeah I mean just non -stop. they are not gonna give up until Paul goes out and surrenders yeah I guess I'll have to go out there with a white flag or something. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't want to try and lift this thing out at, in one piece, so I'm going to take it apart as much as possible. We used to have a dog, <laughs> but you know, and here's a reminder of him right there. 
Yep. We'll probably be seeing those for a year. There's more signs of mango. Rest in peace, mango. Yeah. Uh -huh. I had to remove the couch a couple of times already because of the gas station incident in March of this year. Well, here's what we took out of the rig. And it's actually day four. Why we're on day four is day one, the desk was out for delivery mm -hmm. by FedEx. Yep. Day two, the desk was out for delivery by FedEx. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And then day three, they said, they don't know where it is, it's pending. And then, yeah. then we got a message that they tried to deliver it. We finally got it today, this morning. This is not unusual for us with FedEx. In fact, it seems like every time something comes by FedEx, it's gonna be a day or two or three late. So let us know in the comments if this is not us, if it's happening to you too. Hopefully it's quality. That's, that's, uh -huh. the, only, that's the only thing with getting white. We're a little nervous about, is it gonna be quality? Because some colors or wood tones maybe are more forgiving, but is the white gonna look cheap? Um, but we might be stuck with it. <laughs> I just really wanted a place where that's only work, where I'm not trying to do work and then stop and have a meal. I think psychologically it's nice to have a different space to have your meal. Yeah, I, I'm actually looking forward to having the dining table back as a full-time dining table as opposed or you know, we could use it for games, you know, but... but <laughs> we haven't played we haven't. dominoes in a long no, time. It's because your work stuff is always on the table. And <laughs> I thought it was because I was on a really, really big winning streak on dominoes and you just didn't want to play me anymore. <laughs> yeah, well... <laughs> Have we mentioned how many times the dominoes have ended up in the trash? <laughs> <laughs> it's been a few times. Oh, okay, I'm a sore loser. <laughs> well, we're done. <laughs> we're done and it's all in place and can't wait to give you a tour. So the most important piece, of course, is the chair. This is ergonomic and it has a lot of features that we really didn't find in, in most office chairs. The seat moves forward, so it gives more support under here. So I've got long legs, and getting the support here helps so much with my back. Makes a huge difference. We went to a back store to learn that. When we went to the back store, a chair like this with different colors, a little fancier, was $1,000. We purchased this in an office furniture store, bought it local, it was $500. Still a lot of money, but really important to have all the adjustments to be comfortable. And I'm actually gonna be sitting in the chair for 30 minutes, standing at the desk for 30 minutes. The desk is super cool. And it's really important if you're gonna get a sit-stand desk to get one that has memory because it takes a little while to get it exactly where you want for sit and stand, but once you've got it in memory, you just push the button and there it is. Now we ordered this off Amazon and we will put a link to it. We highly recommend if you're getting a chair that you sit in it yourself so you'll want to buy that local. We did look at a couple sit-stand desks at local office furniture stores and they were not as nice for more money than what we got on Amazon. And I just have to say we love this sit-stand desk. It is beautiful, it's good quality, it's metal, it just looks great. And then we went to a different office furniture store to find this side chair that fit the space. We had, we had 30 inches of, of width between here and here. It needs, a, needs an ottoman or something to put my feet <laughs> on, but uh, other than that, it's, it's very comfortable. So here it is all together. This is the after. Super happy with how it looks. But the key is really how neat the wires look. I mean, look at that. You can't even see all the wires. My computer's plugged in, the desk's plugged in. So there's a couple of things that are very helpful when you're tidying up wires of, of any kind. Um, there are these little stick-on pads that the tie wrap, there's slots for the tie wrap to, to go through and then you put your wires in and you attach them and it's got a stick on sticky back and it's also got a hole in the center for a um, a flathead screw that could go in there a, a uh, tapered flathead screw will go in so, so you will still be able to get the the tie wrap in if you use a standard or pan head or or a, a round head screw it will interfere with the the tie wrap going through so you can't use that these are called cable tie mounts and we'll put a link in the description where you can buy them you can get them in 
local hardware stores, but I went to a local Ace Hardware. I asked for them and, and the people in the hardware store didn't even know what I was talking about. They're, they're still new to a lot of people, they're, right? Yeah, apparently. I, I thought everybody knew about them, but uh, apparently not. Um, the other type of tie wrap or cable tie that I used is this, and it's got a, a hole that you can put a screw through, and then once it's attached, you, you tie whatever you want to it that way. These are also available at, uh, at hardware stores, and we'll put a link in the description of you if you just want to order them online. Decided to reassemble it and put it out at the end of our campsite with a free sign on it. <laughs> it took less than an hour and somebody And came. we're in a small campground with like no traffic and yeah, it was yep. gone. It was gone, yeah. Yep. Yeah. The, uh, the guy that's sort of in charge of the campground, um, he's, he's the head maintenance guy here. He saw it and he got on his phone to somebody that he knew needed a, needed a sofa and the guy brought his truck over and they loaded it up and it was gone. So it it got repurposed, which is good. I mean, it, it's a good feeling to you know to be able to give something that someone really values. He's probably maybe even sleeping on it. It is a bed. Yeah, we really like the new uh, our new setup. Liz it, especially likes it. It feels like I have a home office instead of being you know cramped in the dining area. And now we have the dining area only as the dining area. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So let us know how you like it and uh, show us or tell us about your renovations that you're doing to your rig, making it yours. Yeah. Yeah.